today I'm just doing a get ready with me. I don't really know what look I'm going for. I'm just going to test out some new products I have that I haven't used yet. Um, a lot of these products are from my um, Ipsy Glam bags that I get that I haven't even used or just random products that I would like to use more of. So I'm just going to see what kind of look I come up with. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. And if you like this look, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more Get Ready With Me's, just go ahead and click that like button. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So I already have my foundation on and did my eyebrows. And I primed my eyes a little bit with some Fit Me Concealer. Now, the only thing that I know for sure that I want to use is this Urban Decay shadow that I got in one of my Ipsy Glam bags. I guess it's in the shade Lounge. It's a pretty green, greenish color. It matches my shirt. It's really tiny, but yeah, I think this will go good with what I have on today. I think I'm just going to use my 35O palette from Morphe since they have a lot of dark brownish shades that will go good with that color. I'm going to start with this brownish light tan color right here and work that in my crease. I do have on tape. Um, I actually put my tape on a little differently today. It's going more straight across from my eye instead of going up. Just a different look to see how everything turns out. And I'm going to bring this all the way out where the tape is. And work that back and forth. I may do a cut crease today. I'm not sure. I haven't done a cut crease on this channel yet. So maybe just do something different than what I usually do. Now I want to take a more deeper brown color. I'm thinking about this color, which is two shades over from that tan color we used. And I'm just taking a smaller Real Techniques brush and I'm going to go right under where I put the tan color. Instead of using circular motions, I'm just patting it in my socket of my eye and then just going back and forth. Now we're just going to blend everything together. And you must blend really well, so take your time blending because this is going to take a lot to blend out since the color is so dark. My eyelids are so dry and flaky, like, I don't know. I need a good eye cream. If you recommend any good eye creams, let me know in the comments below. Now I'm going to take, went from this color to get this color, and now I'm going to take this color right here in the middle. It's more of a brownish cool tone color. I'm just taking another blending brush and blending that throughout. Just darkening it up and adding more color. Now I like it. I want to add more of that first tan color back in just to make it more visible. So I'm just going to take the same brush and just add it back in. Just to make it a little bit more warm. Now I'm going to clean up the lid for that greenish Urban Decay color with some Soft Ogre Paint Pot. So it's the MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre and I'm just taking this Morphe brush. So I can really focus the product and clean it up. Since this was so messy, it doesn't really matter because we're about to clean it up with the paint pot. I'm bringing it all the way out on the tape. It's on, but it's not as sharp as I want it, so I'm going to take this blending brush and blend those two together and then go back over it to make it more sharp. I'm going to try an even smaller Morphe brush right now and see if I can make that line even sharper. And now we're just going to take this Urban Decay color and place that on our lid. I'm just going to use the same brush and wipe off that MAC Paint Pot and take that. It's really pretty. I'll just swatch it really quick. It's 
So it's like a greenish brown color. You really have to pack this on and take your time. I would say this brush made it really easy to put this color on. When I was putting this on, I was only focusing it on the bottom part of my lid and leaving some space open. And it's really easy to do because all you have to do is do a couple swipes just staying in the same direction in the same line and leaving this lid space open. So it's almost like a double cut crease. Now I'm just going to clean up this MAC Paint Pot color so it can pop more. I'm taking a tiny little brush like this, it could be an eyeliner brush, and then just drag it over that line so then when we open our eyes it could pop more. Okay, after that was done, I just went back with the lid color and just cleaned up any areas that need to be brightened or line up the line so it's more even. Now I'm just going to set my brow bone with this top color and this color mixed together. You want to make sure these colors are blended together as well. If for eyeliner, I have this um, eyeliner I got in my Ipsy Glam bag. It's called Model Launcher is the brand, I guess. So it's a felt tip eyeliner. I'm just going to open this really quick. Wow. This is not even black. <laughs> okay. It's like a bluish color. You know what? I think this would be really pretty in the crease where we put the um, paint pot at. I think I'm going to use this. Let's see how it turns out. I'm just putting it right at the top of where we put the paint pot. can't breathe, you can't talk when you do this because you have to be very precise. Wow, it's so pretty. Who would have known that this would have went with the look? I swore this was a black color. Invincible. Now I'm just going to go back and clean that up with the other shades we have on our lid. I'm going to actually go down on the tape and just connect it and make a little wing. Today since I'm trying something new, um, I'm just going to use this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Yellow Corrector. I have used this before but I think like once or twice so I'm just going to try this. You must really be careful and not mess up our little eyeliner thing we have going on. I really love how my under eye is looking. I gotta use this more often. Now to set underneath my eyes, I'm going to try this new product. It's a banana setting powder. It's from the company Bella P. Air. I have not used this yet. I got this in an Ipsy Glam bag, so we're going to see how well it works. I love banana powders if they're lightweight and if they really brighten the under eye. I hate drying powder, so I'm kind of nervous to try this. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit at first and see how it looks. Cause a cakey under eye can really mess up the entire look. So far so good. It's really lightweight, it's not drying. You can tell it's really finely milled. It looks really good, I'm really loving it so far. Now I'm gonna bronze my face. I'm using my Obsession that is almost out, which is the NARS. Laguna Bronzer. I have a duo. It's the Orgasm Blush with the Laguna Bronzer. And look at this. Do you see how dirty this is? And do you see how empty this is? This is all I have left. I need to buy the full product, which I will do ASAP. Because if that's all I have left and I'm still trying to use it, you know I love it. I might try the darker one too. Because this one is not as dark, but that's why I love it. This is easier to work with. Now for blush, I have this Show Me Your Cheeks blush by Elizabeth Mott. Um, it kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm. See, a little bit. NARS is just a little bit darker. I don't know if this is going to work for me because it looks a little bit too light. I might have to build it up, but we shall see. 
No, I like it. You can really see it. Um, I like how it's not as dark so you can build it up and you know too much blush looks um, not good. I would say this is like the orgasm blush. It's just not as shimmery. So if orgasm is a little bit too shimmery for you, I would check this out. It does have gold reflex in it which is really pretty but it's not overpowering. Okay now back to our eyes. I do not have any lashes to put on today which is unfortunate because if you have lashes with this look it would look so bomb. But it is daytime so I don't need lashes. Okay for mascara I'm using my favorite as of right now is the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. I got this in an Ipsy Glam bag. I really love it. It reminds me of the um better than sex mascara but I like this one a little bit better. I think I just want to buff some of this Urban Decay color in my lower lash line just to add something down there. So I'm going to take this Ofra highlighter in You Glow Girl. I have barely used this like I only used it once probably a long time ago and I also think I got this in an Ipsy Glam bag so this is what it looks like. It has a little bit of purplish reflex in it, which I think would go good with the eyes. So let's try this out. Taking a Morphe fan brush. Yes, this goes perfectly with the eyes. Now time for our lips. I'm going to see what I have in my collection to go with this look. Um, I don't have any really new lip products, so we'll see. For lip liner, I'm going to take this Essence Lip Liner in Soft Fairy. I love this. I use it all the time. It's a purpley color. Then I'm going to take um, Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star. Now I'm going to go over it with this Like Lip Gloss from Kylie. It's in the shade Like. And to finish up, I'm going to add some setting spray, some Maybelline Master Fix, cheap, you know, it works. So this is the final look. I hope you guys loved it. Um, I know it was all over the place, but I was just trying something new and it actually came out really cool and different. So if you love this look and would like to see more looks like this, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos. I love you guys. Bye.